accent right here. Yep, I'm a light. Yes, Face your police unit. Put your heel toes together. Right now, the only thing I want you to do is just listen to me, okay? A New Mexico State police officer was on duty when he observed an Albuquerque Police Department police unit driving at a high rate of speed. The APD police unit was also drifting in and out of lanes. The state police officer turned on his lights to initiate a traffic stop. The Albuquerque police officer flashed his lights but pulled over. Sounds normal for a cop. Why would you pull a, co a cop over for speeding and driving recklessly? They do it all the time. All the t cops are one of the most reckless drivers on the road. It's not even close. I'm surprised that this officer pulled him over. Sounds like he's on a power trip. That's just my initial reaction. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. What's the hurry? I'm just in my lane to work. I'm at, I have like nine, 11 minutes left. Yeah, you have, you have, you have, you have nine minutes left? Yeah, I okay. win that Okay, and, and also, you're not staying in your lane. I'm sorry, boss, I have a low tire. That's all it is. In fact, come back here and talk to me real quick. I didn't see you. I'm sorry. Okay. You didn't see me at all? No, sir. You of course he didn't see you. Who the hell drive? Even a cop, when you drive recklessly, if you see another cop, that's the immediate wake up. You could be doing the most reckless stuff ever. You see a cop, you... <laughs> you driving like when you did the driver's test when you were 16 or 18, whenever you got your license, 19, whatever. <laughs> and you... <laughs> <laughs> and you got your hand. What is it? Is it 10 to 2? I forgot. I ain't done my driver's test in a long time. And no, is it 6 and 9 or something like that? Or 10 and... It's something like that. It's supposed to be 6 and 9. Both hands on the wheel, though, regardless. And um, you got to check your mirrors and all that before you start. Put your seatbelt on. I mean, now you got to put your seatbelt on because it's super annoying. Because it's always like ding, 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 ding. Hey, if anybody knows how to disconnect the seatbelt connector, I should know how to do it. I'm tired of it. It's so annoying. Like I usually wear my seatbelt anyways, but the car can't wait to just be like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> like, bro, I just am pulling out the garage up the ramp, getting on. I'm, I'm about to, you know, I'm settling in, about to pull the seatbelt over. Ding, 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 ding. Don't you hate when somebody, when you're about to say something and they beat you to it immediately because they're so like just ADHD brain where they're just like, oh, and they try to get it out before you. That's what the car seatbelt light is. You didn't see me at all? No, I didn't. Yeah, you, well, you're doing a buck 12, and I turned around. I actually saw you in the media, and I turned around, and okay. I've been chasing you probably since the 212-ish. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. So, did you do a favor? You, you, you have your weapon on you, right? What's that? You have your weapon on you? Yes, sir. Let's put it in your car real quick. Okay. And your taser. So he disarms the officer. Yes, Why though? Just because he was speeding? Is that a reason to disarm the officer? I'm, I don't understand what's going on here. And I got a little background on the arresting officer. We'll get to that in a little bit. Over here. He's an accomplished when officer. Uh, 12, sir. 12, okay, so here. So, Mr. Hernandez, where are you coming from? Uh, Las Lunas. Where, where, where do you live at, Las Lunas? What's that? Where do you live at? Uh, Hunting Ranch. Hunting Ranch? Yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Mr. Hernandez, like, everybody, I tried to put your gun away. Okay. Put your gun away. What the fuck is wrong with this arresting officer? I don't like either one of these guys, but I'm more on the side of 
this guy, unless he actually is drunk, I'm not sure right now, but we'll see. Well, I'll, be, I'll be flat honest with you, okay? One, you're speeding. Yes, sir. With no lights on. Yes, sir. Two, I don't know why you keep going off the road. That's why I stopped you. Honestly, can I can I show you why? Well, you, you can tell me why. It's because I don't have my other light or my other key, and so my other key like it fucks me up because I don't have my other key in the ignition, and so it's pulling on my belt. That's why. What? Like, I can show you, sir. So that's why you're. Whenever you gotta show somebody something, you're usually just doing too much. You should be able to explain it pretty simply, and I'd be able to understand without giving a demonstration. I'm just saying. That's why you can't stay in one lane? No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. I, I asked you, why can't you stay in one lane? Because I'm trying to log on to all my stuff and everything like that. Okay. So, when you... When you... See, again, I, he's not taking accountability. I don't know if he's drunk or not. He doesn't really seem drunk, but... I mean, they do got a lot of equipment in their car. They got a laptop sitting right there in front of them at all times that could either be open or not, but... Yeah. You start logging into it. Honestly, I can show you. Like, I've been trying to log on, doing all my old stuff. That's the, that's the only reason. Mr. Nanas, when did you last drink alcohol? Uh, yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna check your eyes real quick. Okay. Put your toes together. Yep. I'm gonna talk about flashing lights. What time? What time yesterday? Uh, very well. Turn off flashing lights. Twelve midnight or? Noon. 12 noon? Yes, sir. Okay, noon yesterday? Yes, sir. So, like, 12 hours ago? Yes, sir. Okay. No, 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 no. Like, noon the day prior. Okay. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna be honest, though. It's already kind of weird because, like, drinking at noon is... And I don't know this personally. I wouldn't drink that early in the day almost ever. Maybe on, like, a holiday or something. Or, like, something like that. But on average, I'm never drinking before, like, 8 p.m., if at all. Drinking at noon is kind of like signs of drunk. I don't know, lush. Right, so, so nothing drink recently? No, sir. Okay, any, any major head injury? Uh, Just a headache recently, but that, nothing crazy. Okay. Having a beer with your afternoon sandwich and chips is crazy as an officer. Just as anybody, actually, but yeah. When, when, did, you, when did you graduate the academy? Uh, about three years ago, sir. Okay. Was I one of your instructors? What's that? Was I one of your instructors? No, sir. Okay. Of course not. See my fingertip? Yes, sir. Follow my fingertip with your eyes only. And don't move your head. Yes, so, Mr. also, Mr. Hernandez, can you explain why I would smell alcohol from your breath? I don't know why, sir. Okay. Here you go. I'm. This is this is my first like what I'm thinking. This the arresting officer or I guess the sergeant has worse speech than this guy. He actually is speaking more. If I just seen both of them. And I heard this guy be like, this dude sounds like he's on a coke bender. He's like, he just talks like weird and he has like terrible speech. And the other guy is just more like calm and composed. He doesn't seem drunk to me. I'm just saying. Don't move your head. How you gonna tell him not to move his head and you put your finger on the other side of his head? He can't even see it, bro. The finger is like back here. Hold on, can you see this? How I'm gonna look at your finger right here without turning my head this way? If you put your finger behind my head, how can I see it without turning my head? What the hell, hold on, let me see. Maybe I'm wrong, let me go back real quick. Oh, wait, hold on, no, 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 team. Team, absolutely not, team. Don't Look at this. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm stop it. Watch this. Come on, man. Your finger ain't even in front of him. You pointing behind your cruiser. This is crazy, y'all. Mr. Hernandez, do you have a license? Uh, on me, yeah. Mr. He's gonna skip ahead a little bit too. We don't need to see that. He's gonna put his he put his oh, okay, okay, okay. Your head. Functional alcoholic is what you call this. If he is drunk. I mean, 
initially, he's not moving his head and his eyes are following. And his eyes aren't darting around. They're actually like doing really well. <laughs> Don't look at my knuckle, look at my fingertip, okay? This cop wild, man. What the hell? I would put my finger behind your head. Ready? Hold the fingertip. What happened to my fellow officer? And I know people are saying, well, they need to hold him accountable and all that stuff. Like, maybe, but, you know, officers need to stick together. Unless you're doing something, well, I don't know. If he is driving drunk, he probably should be in trouble. Because I think driving drunk is one of the worst things you can do as a human being. It's extremely selfish and dangerous. I don't agree with drunk driving. Can so. you take the arm up and down? On fingertip? Why would he do that though? Why would he three years out of out of training? Just two more quick tests. We'll possibly get you on your way. Any problems walking, bouncing, or turning? Uh, I mean, just do this, but nothing crazy. Okay. Those are those what you line from your left foot to my right foot. Oh, don't move your foot. Okay. Don't move your foot. Put your feet together, man. Okay. okay. Imagine. Okay. Don't do anything. Just imagine a straight line. Your left foot to my right. Why would he record it with the lights right in front of him? You can't even see it on his body cam. Shoe is about four to five inches wide. Turn around and do me a favor. On that imaginary line, place your left foot just like this. Okay. Go ahead and do it for me imaginary now. Imaginary line. Mr. Hernandez. I'm sorry. That was your right foot. I said place, place oh, your sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't hear you. Okay. Over my back. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Sobriety tests are a trap, y'all. Can I put them on your head? You can put them in your car. Okay. Sorry, I can't see over my hood. Where my He put up all his magazines out of his right vest. Yeah, he had like the AR magazine and all that on there. Right foot in front left. Okay. You and I are in the same position, would you agree? Yes, sir. Okay, when I tell you to begin, and only when you keep your front foot planted with your back foot, Two, three back. I ain't gonna lie. I get like there's a power dynamic here between um, sergeant and new officer. So I think like a lot of it too is like I wouldn't even agree to this stuff as an officer. I'd be like, dude, why the hell are you pulling me over, man? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, you ain't never got caught speeding. Like, come on, man. You're holier than thou now. Like, stop it. I got number nine. Yes, sir. Mr. Fernandez, throughout this test, keep your head directly at your sides. Yes, sir. Yeah, not in your pockets? Yes, sir. Look down your feet while you count and count out loud so I can hear you. Also, once you start this test, don't stop it until you've completed it and don't forget to touch heel to toe. Okay. Any questions? No, sir. You feel understand what I want you to do? Yes, sir. Next up will be step number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, turn and face me. That Both was good. Together. Hands on your sides. He Can aced that. Side What's up? Can we do the other test on the side of your unit? No, we're okay. state police. Everything's done in our front. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's super windy. Oh, gotcha. Okay. 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 I did the test. Okay. Okay. So, no, no, I'm just saying. That. Okay. You gotcha. You could you turn however you need to. Okay. Okay. So just watch me. Don't don't start. This is weird, right man. To listen to me, sir. Okay. So when I tell you begin, what I want you to do is raise the leg of your choice. Okay. Either your left leg or your right leg. Count like this. Loud. Yes, sir. Any questions? No, sir. Do you feel understand? He telling them how to do field sobriety tests that he already knows. He gives these same sobriety tests to other people. What the hell is going on here, team? Yeah, can I? Sure. You can face whichever way you want. Whenever you're ready, on. Okay, come over with me. Six or sorry, forty or fifty. Can you can you count backwards? 
Yes, sir. Come back from the number 58 to 43 backwards. Yes, sir. Don't sing them. Don't. What the hell is he talking about? Count 50 to 47 backwards and don't sing it? Who the hell sings counting? This is not the alphabet. Which cop is drunk here? <laughs> like, come on, man. This is ridiculous. Let me see if I can do it, though. You think I can do it, team? All right, let's try it. 58, 57, 56, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45. Team, you want to know something? I've been drinking. <laughs> like, what the f I mean, I wouldn't be on the road driving like this dude, but that's not hard to do. And also, you know what? I don't trust the arresting officer. I don't trust the sergeant in this situation. And I told you I was going to reveal some about him. I am going to do that very short, very, very soon. See, now I'm slurring my words. I just reminded myself that I was drinking. <laughs> Could y'all tell? Sing them? Yeah, just come backwards. Okay. okay. 58. That's what I'm doing when I do this. Or, sorry. 40, I'm 58 to where? 43. 43, okay. 58, 57, 56, 58. When I go off camera. 50, Four, I'm not going to drink on camera. 3, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 44, 45, 44, 43. Yeah, that was good. Yes, sir. Okay. The alphabet. Yes, sir. Starting with the letter H as a Henry, step in with the letter, stopping at the letter R as a Robert. Recite them forward. Don't sing them. Don't sing H them. H star. Who the hell sings the alphabet when you start from the middle of the alphabet? All right, what do you say? Start from R? I don't even know if I could do that. We learned the alphabet singing it. Like, honestly, we wouldn't even know how to recite the alphabet if we didn't have it in, in song form. Nobody, sober or not, I don't care who you are. Let's try it, though. R, T, Z, U, V, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. You can't really do the alphabet without singing it. No team, don't nope, don't try to tell me that you can just do the alphabet without singing it. It has a rhythm to it. It just is a natural thing. And to be honest, we learn through song better than we do without a rhythm. That's why it's so much easier to rem remember song lyrics when you can catch the rhythm to them. I've rapped. I mean, I have hundreds of songs that I've done. Hundreds. The only way I can remember my own lyrics is if I catch the rhythm that I set them at. Like, if I don't know the rhythm, I, I won't even remember my own stuff. Like, I got to remember, like, how do I say that? Uh, uh, and I'll get the rhythm and I'll be able to do it. Like, even now, I can't even think of a song to recite. And I got a plethora of songs. So, yeah. H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-D-Q-R. Unfortunately, Mr. Hernandez, I believe that you're well over the legal limit. Okay, okay go ahead, take a few. So, so I will, I will, I will do the favor of that. Would you, would you, would you disagree with me? Like, I, I wouldn't agree with you, sir. No, I said, I said, would you disagree with me? I would disagree. With you. Okay. He just said that. He said I wouldn't agree with you. Would you disagree? Who is drunk here? He's talking perfectly fine. I would disagree with you, bro. I'm not drunk. What the hell are you talking about? Maybe a little nervous because of the power dynamics, but come on, man. We all know as officers that we drive reckless. It's what we do. We run red lights. When we don't want to wait at the light, we flick our lights on, run through the red light speed, even though we have nowhere to go, we just don't want to wait there. You're speeding? Yes, sir. You're, you're driving behavior? I mean, yes, I mean, you, yes. Did you do great in the fields? No. Do you know how to do the field sobriety test? Yes. What, is, what does that even mean? He didn't do great, but he knows how to do them. So you're taking away his credit while giving credit at the same time. It's ridiculous. And he actually did do really well from what I've seen. And I'll be honest, one thing has always stuck with me. When I was a kid, I seen an officer drinking a 40 ounce. It was a black officer. You know, this dude's Spanish or Mexican or something like that. So I guess they get drunk on a job too, but I'll never forget it. He was in his police cruiser on a one-way street. I'm walking, getting ready to walk across the bridge. 
I see him with a brown bag. He's slack. Because you remember back in the day, everybody used to drink 40 ounces. That was a thing. MGD, Old English, um, Colt 45. It was always malt liquor. The old, the old ninjas always used to drink malt liquor. They try to destroy our lives as the younger generation and give us... Uh, Cause it was 40 ounce and it was like the 22 ounces, like half the 40 ounce. And they always try to give us a 22 ounce St. Ives. And um, they want us to fail like them cause they were losers. Anyways, smoking cigarettes and all that. So, but I seen a cop and he looked directly at me and didn't give a damn. He was just like drunk as hell, eyes glossed. I'll never forget his eyes. They were just glossed over. He was wasted. And then he wanted to show off for me or something because afterwards he sets the 40 down, flicks on his uh, his lights and just speeds off. at a, I mean, damn near like burnt the sidewalk up. Just and um, it was just one of the strangest things. I just remember that for some reason. I mean, that guy was drunk as hell as an officer. Your, your speech. I've never heard you speak. The oh, the strong odor. Your eye movements. Okay. Okay, but my eye movements. Hey, I can't say nothing to Hernandez when I'm over here drinking. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I know you're not. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, take off his vest I mean that that's bad like you know when you got to take off your vest it hurts like picture working at Amazon as a flex driver and you go into the warehouse to pick up a, a batch and as you get there you think they're about to load you up with your batch so you can deliver a whole bunch of packages to customers that don't appreciate you and then they say hey you know what Mr. Hernandez you're fired we're gonna need your Amazon vest I mean, that's just painful, man. Like anytime you have to give up your vest at a job, you know, your Walmart vest, um, Target doesn't wear them, or fast food restaurant, your visor, your McDonald's visor, your Wendy's visor. Oh, don't do it, don't, not Chick-fil-A. No, I can't give up my Chick-fil-A khakis. Oh. And then lastly, your name tag. If I'm working at Dick Sporting Goods and they ask for my Dick Sporting Goods name tag, I mean, my life is over. It's over. And three years in, he still has 17 years to his pension. So he's got a good chance to, you know, He's going to be doing security at uh, basketball games at some point. He's going to be doing high school basketball game security. You already took his gun. Now you're going to take his vest, too. Mr. Callas. Oh, um, that's my shirt. That's my partner. I wear his shirt. Okay. It's just because his shirt is better. Okay. So, Mr. Mr. Hernandez, to be a butt taste. That's weird. I was wondering because I seen, I was actually going to say something about it, but I was just like, I looked at it, but his shirt said Callas, and he said it's his, his partner's shirt and it fits better. Man, hey, yo, Hernandez, man. You and your partner got something going on, man. It's fine. Is Collis a woman? Or is Collis a guy, though? I'm just wondering, Hernandez. I mean, I don't mind what your sexual orientation is. 
but wearing your partner's shirt because it fits better is weird. Like, how can somebody else's shirt fit better than your own that you asked for the exact size that you want? I mean, like, you know, you got a woman, right? I got a woman. She won't wear my shirt. You know, cool, whatever. It ain't going to fit better than it fits on me, on her. It's going to be all loose. Well, hopefully it should be. If it's tight on her, then we got a whole nother problem. It's something very important. You are now under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. The next nice compact consent act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. Or to take our test, Say no. you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or lawyer towards your initial technologist who's avoidable hospital. No, 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 a physician no. of your own choice. This dude cannot, cannot talk. But if you refuse, you will lose your next driver's license or non driver privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court for driving under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence if you have refused to be tested. Furthermore, you will be charged with aggravated DWI, which you don't. With that in mind, do you want to submit to a breath test? No, sir. Do you feel able to run uh, this way? Open your mouth. Lift your tongue. Tell your mouth. It's now 1206, okay? So, I said I was going to reveal some about this arresting officer. And I forgot his name already. He's like Tunga or something like that. But anyways, this officer is the highest DUI arresting officer in, I believe, the state. He has over 3,000 DUI arrests, this guy here, that's arresting uh, Hernandez, the sergeant. And just with that, I'm going to say that he doesn't want to be wrong. What I seen, team, and I'm pretty sure y'all seen the same thing, he passed all of these tests that he gave him. Now, I don't know why he refused the breathalyzer test because that pretty much would exonerate him from all charges if he did the breathalyzer test and it came back negative, so he probably is drunk. But, I mean, like I said, functioning alcoholic. He's able to actually do and appear normal for the most part to, to a normal person. Now this officer, he does do a lot of DUI arrests, so he can probably still tell that he's drunk. And, you know, not taking a breathalyzer is, you know what this does for us, team? It just tells you never take the breathalyzer test, especially if you're drunk. I mean, that's just stupid because that's just like admitting guilt. If you're not drunk and they arrest you for DUI, then just take the breathalyzer test that'll clear you immediately and you'll be let go. So I guess the only reason you wouldn't take it is if you are drunk. So yeah, it's kind of weird, but you have a better chance of beating the case if you don't take the breathalyzer test. So I just want you to understand that. But if he loses his license for a year, which, which happens, then that's almost as good as him losing his privilege to be on the road as a drive as an officer and you know he's gonna be on desk duty at best if he doesn't get fired which that'll probably happen and i will and, and i'll take the from you and then we'll call your sergeant i gotta call my lieutenants anyway Sorry. lieutenant okay by bobby foster uh, yes or no, um, and then I'll need somebody to take the unit home or to your station. Um, he's been arrested for DWI. No, sir. In his unit? Mm. Who is this again? Sergeant Lefebvre. <laughs> mm. Yes, sir. Okay, and you guys are handling everything? Uh, yes. But I'm giving you a courtesy because he was in full uniform. And all this stuff's in his unit, and I'm parked behind his unit now. Yeah, he's supposed to be here for briefing. We started midnight. Yeah, that's what, he, that's what he told me. He just took an officer off the street when we already had a police shortage, so. What the fuck? Okay. Uh... <laughs> hey, he don't give a damn. Hey, the dude on the phone don't give a damn about him being drunk. He like, bro, how the hell am I going to cover his shift? Like, damn it, what the hell are you doing, man? Let this dude go, man. Jesus Christ, he's been drunk ever since we... 
He been drunk ever since training camp. We know he's a drunk. We don't care. We need him on the road, man. We need him out there patrolling. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, I'll bring one of my guys in. All right, thank you, sir. Be in route right now. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. He's on his way. Can I do anything to you, sir? No, sir. Yeah, he's totally respectful. He doesn't want to blow. Um, and that, that's why. Um, like so, like we'll 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 figure it out down the road. But I appreciate you coming out. All right, appreciate it. Thank hey, you. Um, yes, sir. He's right here. Okay. No. Okay. Just tell um, search the forty-three one that we had last week. Uh, the knife is in my passenger front side. Um, I just didn't get a tag it last week. Just because everything that was going on. Um, I don't know if that's important. I just want to let you know before if the vehicle gets towed, people will lose their shit because there's a blade knife in my unit. Okay. I just want to let you know, sir. All right. I ain't going to lie. His sergeant is just like, what the hell is going on? He's not happy with any of this. I don't think he wanted him to get arrested at all. I probably think, like, I'll be honest. This guy right here, let me go back real quick. Him right here, I think he would have liked the sergeant that pulled him over to give him a courtesy call before he cooked him and been like, hey, I got an officer. He might be drunk. Like, what do you want to do with this situation? You know, hold on, let me finish this up real quick. We only got a little bit. Driving left. while under the influence of liquor and or drugs, speeding, and failure to maintain. Yeah, so he ended up, whatever. That was the end of the video. Yeah, I think he would have wanted him to just tell him, like, yo, I got your officer here. He might be drunk. I don't want to arrest him just yet. What do you think we should do with him? Because, like, honestly... And I know this isn't right. I know we should hold them accountable and stuff like that. But I do feel like you should have a little more loyalty to your people. And I get it. These are officers. I'm just speaking from the inside, not from the outside. Call my sergeant. Let my sergeant deal with me. My sergeant going to come. Hey, Hernandez, bruh, like you damn near got arrested for DUI. The sergeant called me as a courtesy. He said he's going to let me deal with you how I want to. I'm not going to arrest you, although I probably should. This is your one and only warning. You make any mistake and you're done as far as being a police officer ever again. Because it really doesn't help anybody for him going to jail at this point. Um, and I know it's probably an unpopular take, but that's just how I feel about it. Like you should hold your own down. You know, as long as they're not doing anything like crazy, like, you know, something with like children or something like that or or grape or murder, you know, things like that. Although, like I said, DUI and driving drunk is is terrible to me, but he didn't seem drunk. And we just don't know if he is because he didn't take a breathalyzer test. So basically, you could have called a sergeant and let him deal with him on the side and figure it out. Undirected perspective. What do I got with all, from all of this? Um, you know, it, it's it's weird. Like, I thought I thought police officers had each other's back. I really do. I think they drive reckless all the time. They don't follow the same laws that they enforce. Oftentimes, and none of us really do. Like, and that's just how it is. When we get comfortable in a position that we have, we kind of bend the rules a little bit. That's just what we do as people. We all do it. Yeah, you, you do it too. So don't now, we might not do anything criminal, right? But we understand the proper way to do things. And sometimes we just skew it a little bit, not to the detriment of anyone else, but we take shortcuts after we've done it the right way to begin with. And that's just a natural thing. Like, I could do long division to figure out a math problem if I wanted to. But for what? I got a phone right here where I can do the same problem in a fraction of the time. So I'm going to use that. 
And that's kind of what I mean. So I don't know. I think the arresting officer could have handled this differently. I think as officers, they should have let him go. Not let him go, but, you know, should have called a sergeant and let a sergeant deal with it. If a sergeant wanted to charge him with DUI, fine. Cool. But, you know, he could have. He gave him a courtesy call after the fact. That's not really a courtesy call at all. It's more just flexing that, you know, I've had 3,000 DUI arrests and now I got 3,001 and one is on an officer. Probably more than that, but yeah. So that's all I got for this team. It was interesting to watch and um, major L by the entire police force, by the, by the police as a whole. Nobody looks good in this situation. Not the arresting officer, not the sergeant, and um, not the officer that got arrested. They all look like idiots and fools, so that's pretty much it. Y'all all made each other look bad. Well, that's pretty much it for this. Until the next one, I'm out, y'all. Peace. Yo, what you think's gonna happen to Hernandez, though? Hey, Hernandez, I got you. If I ever get big enough as a content creator and I need security, I'm gonna call you. And I don't mind if you take a couple shots before you guard me. It's fine with me. I don't really care. I'm just telling you.